Hello everyone, this is Kazu Requiem, and today I'll be doing something a little bit different. So today I thought, since I'm learning how to do posing and pose animations for the purpose of the 100 Baby Challenge, um, now that I've basically gone underway, I've done a lot of testing and stuff like that, I'm going to do a little bit of tutorial for what I do. Because... I've noticed that there aren't very many tutorials for the Kijiko Pose Helper, which is what I use, and the ones that exist are in French. <laughs> so I'm here to make this a little bit easier for all of you guys. First things first, you will need three things. One, you'll need to go to Kijiko, catfood.com, Pose Helper for Samus 4 Studio. You can just search Kijiko um post helper on google and it will bring you to this page and you just download it here there are some instructions here which is a lot of what i'll be going over but it just has some helpful information i'm going to be showing you how this works and the reason i use this versus just going into sims 4 studio the second program we will need and using the things that comes with it that you put in blender is because it's extremely hard to pose right and it's almost impossible to make like fists and with the pose helper it makes it so you pull little handles and things like that to move body parts in a flowing way and it doesn't really break the body and it's very very easy to fix and despite what the website says it's very beginner friendly I actually used models like this when I was in a game design school and was in Animation 1. So it's very user friendly and it's a lot more user friendly than what you'll find in Sims 4 Studio. So that's the second one. Third one we'll need is Blender and specifically you will want Blender 2.70. That's Blender 2.70. That's the one that works with uh, Sims 4 Studio. And that's what we'll be using. So to start, you'll want to go into Animation. And then it'll ask you to make your package file. So I'll just put poses in here. Keep it simple. And it'll create this page. From here, you'll, you can name them. So Pose Test... One, I'm not actually going to make much with this, but, and then save the package file so it has that thing in there. And then you go into clips, you can name your first pose or clip, and you go to export, adult female, blank clip. You do that, it'll give you a blender file, which you then open here, and then from there, um, you open up the file that comes with the Kijuko uh, pose helper. I have the female one open. It has a bunch of ones for like couples and stuff in there, but you'll just want to open the normal female adult model and it'll give you this. Um, once you're done with posing and everything, you save over the file that Sims 4 Studio gave you. Simple enough. And to use this, I actually have one open. That's how it comes when it first comes out. And you just hit these. These ones control the entire like arm from the wrist and you can hit the G key to move it around which is simple enough. Click to make that stable and you can move it forward or what you need. You can also use these handles but these handles are not visible all the time. So there you go and then the, the other um, key for this is hitting R and you can rotate. It doesn't work on all of these but it is an alternative way to go about it. I'm gonna show it on something that actually works with it which is the face here. Makes it a lot easier on here. You can hit the G key and you can move it around. And it's very simple easy to work with. Or you can hit R and this happens. <laughs> you can right click to like set it back to normal but like it works for very small movements, or you can hit R again for the other one, and it only goes from side to side, so 
just keep it simple. And you can like go over here, make her look this way and such. And then the eye does a similar thing. You can just go back and forth. It's very helpful. And these points all have little things that you can do if you're having a blinking character. This is the upper eyelid and here's the lower one here. So you just do that. As you can see, the handles don't pop up. So you can hit G and you can still move this up and down. It works with a lot of different things. You'll just have to test which things do what. Most of these here you don't have to deal with. You'll just want the jaw, which is up here. And that'll open, but you'll want to bring this up and back for the jaw to actually look proper. If you're doing, like, lip sync or if you're just doing an animation where the character's mouth is open or a pose where it's open. And you just want to mess around with that. But the important thing is if you're doing animation. First things first, you'll take this start thing down here. You'll switch it to 2 because you don't want to start at 1. I don't know why it glitches out, but it just does. You can have this as long as you want. For here, we'll just do like 30. Usually, I do like 100 to 500. Um, but for this simple exercise, I'm just going to do that. And what you'll want to do is say you want to start with character's hands down in a normal position. You do that, then you click on control rig up here, hit A twice until everything is highlighted like it shows here, and then you want to go down here to where these, these little keys, click lock rotation. Then from there, you can hit this little key and do a keyframe. That's for one single thing, but you'll then want to go to rig. Do the same A thing, and keyframe. If you don't do both of those, it will not register. This is specifically for this pose helper. So say on 30, we just take these again, and put one hand up, maybe with the fist this is for specifically like rotating the hand so that's super helpful and super easy for you guys and then from there we just do this again hit this button and then we make sure to go to rig and do the same thing and we're done for that and then for the last key this is just my uh suggestion but you do that for there too, otherwise the animation might look a little weird. And we're good. We have a really basic animation that you can work with. Then you go back to the start, and this is the most important part with the pose helper. Definitely do this every single time. Click rig. If you do not click rig, it will not work in The Sims 4. I don't know why this is. It's very frustrating. It got me like hours of like testing. Like why isn't this working? I'm following all these tutorials. You have to click rig. Not control rig. Rig. When you save. Again, I don't know why this is. It's just how it is. And then you can save it wherever you need it. I'm just going to put in my poses thing. And then pose three, I guess. And then save as Blender file. And you're good. From there... I, I don't need that. From there, you can go into here. Import. Then go to Pose 3. And then, now this says Pose3.blend. And we can just name this Pose Test. If you'd like, hit save down here. I don't know if you need to, but I also go into here and save it again, just in case. Now, wherever you saved that package file, put it into your Sims mod folder. You can put it directly in the mod folder in, or one folder in, in the mod folder. And then once we do that, we should be able to open the Sims. All right, now that we're in the Sims 4, you can see our model right here, lovely Fern, in her house. 
that is just destroyed with plants. Like, you know, whatever, Fern. And all we'll need to do to test this out is we'll go click here, more choices, pose by pack. One thing I did not mention is you do need Andrew's pose player for this to work. I will be linking all the things that I used during this tutorial, all the programs and such, in the description so you can check it out there. But you go to pose by pack, and then it'll be pose test 01. And we go to pose test, X all this out. And then once she does her little animations, yep, and that works. It looks really weird because of 30 frame animation, but if I um, pose by pack, um, this one. Okay, there she goes. It's just a simple thinking animation, but it works, and it's a lot, a little bit more fluid than the other one. That's why I suggest using between like 100 and like 500 frames, depending on how long you want these animations to be. Honestly, they could go on for a really long time. You could do a whole like story thing with it, um, by altering like the base and all these things so it's really fun to play around so just have fun with it and I hope this video helped so you should be able to make animations and poses just practice with it it's really easy once you get a handle um, and if you have any questions if, if you guys are having issues just comment down below and I will try to help any way I can because Again, there isn't a whole many, a lot of tutorials for the Kijiku pose helper. And now that I've figured it out, I'm there to help, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Namori.